Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. Welcome to a cool, calm, and collected live stream once again. We're playing Unpacked. Maybe I'll finish this game. I'm not sure. We're, we're still unpacking. If you remember, we're unpacking the kids' room. We moved into this house. Two stories? Okay, Rich. And we've got a baby room. It's a room for baby. And I just unpacked this bunny just before we started. I just wanted y'all to, just so y'all know, every single... Oh, whoo! Every single thing I'm taking out of this box. Where do you put all this stuff? Okay, I can finally almost see the bottom of this shelf. I really want to... Like, I don't know. This is just a diaper changing station, right? Like, if we're packing stuff in it... It's going to eventually be get rid of. Because the babies don't poop themselves their whole lives, right? They stop at some point. Oh, yeah, there's the turd pads. There's the turd basket. Is that turd basket? Isn't there a special basket for the poo? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm, I'm hesitant to like put clothes in here. Because you're going to get rid of this table, aren't you? Should I just leave all the... The baby's like not... The baby's only a baby for like... How long's a baby a baby? And then it's like different. I don't understand. I don't understand kids, so I'm a little confused on the details. Like, where am I going to put this? I guess I just put that at the foot of the crib. We use it when we need it. And the the turd pads. It's very Like, two years? How long do they... How long do they poop? <laughs> uh, not masking the trauma! It's true, baby olives. It's time to mask the trauma. It's time to mask the trauma. Thank you so much, baby olives, for the bits. Charmed and enchanted. Great to see you. Thank you for the bits as well. I appreciate that so much. And Sasha, they stop pooping themselves except when they grow up and eat Chipotle. Oh, I can relate. Actually can relate. Relatable content. Thank you so much. Keep those skis, skis, skis going in the chat. I would assume the... Now, what's that in there? Like, that looks like something... Like, those are like separators, right? Do y'all know what I'm supposed to put in this bag? Because I would think I would maybe stack bricks in it, but it doesn't look like it's stackable for bricks. Does anyone know what this basket is for? Is it for clothes? Ball? Oh, wow, they actually rattle. I love that. We could all... That's true, we could all be pooping right now. No poop is shame. <laughs> well, when I pooped myself, it was food poisoning. But no shame. Sometimes you poop. Everybody poops. That's probably what one of these books is called. Let me tell you, they... People love making books about shitting for babies. It's like number one bestseller. And then they sell them at Urban Outfitters too. No pee pee poo poo shame. None here. Samantha, thank you so much. It has been a day here. It has been a day here too. I'm glad you could make it. I hope this helps you a little bit. Keep those scoos 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 going in the chat. Thank you so much. They only let you stack these a certain height. So I guess I'll organize them like that. No, I am, I'm serious about wondering what this basket might be for. Because I don't know what this basket's for and why it has these weird slots in it. Should I stack chickens in it? Put the blocks in the bed. So, no, what? Build a cute little tower with the blocks? Probably so. But, and you can spin them. Are there any... Can you spell bad? What if I just spelled bad? Or sad? I think it only goes to... To E. I'm gonna spell bad. Oh, I was hoping I'd get an achievement for that. Alright, that's fine, I guess. We'll put the baby's clothes in here. Oh! Ah! We'll put, I guess, I would assume pacifiers and maybe teething things go in here. 
Yo, I'm about to become a professional baby room organizer. Y'all don't even know. Maybe one of these in here. One down here. One in here. And then I actually have a lot of shelf room that I totally forgot about and disregarded. That's so me. <laughs> that is so me, though. Do you know what I mean? That is so me. Did I unpack everything? Oh! Yo, we haven't even touched this closet. Look at this closet. We have sun hats now. Okay, Rich. So me. That is so me. So quirky. <laughs> Why y'all keep wanting things to fall off the shelves? It's really saying something that y'all keep wanting these things to fall off the shelves. T-shirts fold. We've, st we've had that Sims t-shirt for like literally years. I have some t-shirts that are like 15 years old and they're still just fine. Except for the like pit stains. <laughs> Except for all the pit stains and moth holes. They're perfectly fine and I wear them all the time. I know, look at the... If, if I got this... If I had this house, and there was a window in this room, I'd say, oh, that's a bedroom. Oh, that's where I'm putting my bed, right? That's the bedroom. If there's a window, it's a bedroom. <laughs> I'm just here for the hashtag relatable content. You know? As an influencer, I thrive on being relatable to, other <laughs> to others. I can relate to having a hat. I am wearing it right now. I'm wearing one. How do you hang up the dress? The dress doesn't hang up? Maybe the dress has to go on a has to go on a lower. Lower. This room is what three thousand dollars gets you in San Francisco. Yeah, it's a Borgen. In San Francisco, this is your this is a bedroom, living room, uh party room, guest room. You know? We love the polka dots. This is very similar to apartments I have lived in. This doesn't deserve a hanger. I'll decide what deserves a hanger. I'll decide. What's it like living like these people? They just keep moving places and then some random is like unpacking their clothes for them. What do they think about that? So I have these drawers too, and that's really nice. I feel like this is gonna end up being like a sewing room and an office. This is this is the work from home conversion. Is this is the work from home office that we're all triggered by right now. Walk in closet. You know what? I've lived in some pretty small. Let's see. At least three studio type of studio. Full studio apartments. Um. And I've really liked not having to clean a lot of things. You know what I mean? You kind of just like. You like tie a, you can tie a, a feather duster to your ceiling fan and it really gets every corner. Do you know what I mean? Not this Shelby, not message one of 15. Thank you so much for the 29 months. Uh, keep those goods, goods, goods going in the chat. I appreciate that so much. Were you here for the unpacking at the beginning? We've unpacked. It's so true. You got to clean a lot. But you know, it also like kind of... It set my expectations. So where I live now, I uh, think I... I personally think is a mansion. Like 900 square feet. And I'm like, okay, mansion. I can spin around in the bathroom. 
barely. But I'm like, okay. Okay. I can't put this cardigan. This cardigan, it says, is too long for up here. Okay, Rich. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Not happy home paradise for six hours straight. Shelby, why? I'm not too concerned with, like, their socks and such. The Space Maker Pencil Box? I think I've lived so many places and, like, never hang up my clothes anymore. Because I've never had closet space. <laughs> Exposed as rich. <laughs> ah! Sweaters. Oh, sweaters go folded so they don't wrinkle. And it is true, though. So, as someone who used to own a lot of cardigans, own a lot of cardigans... You hang them up and they get the, even with the nice hangers, they get the, the shoulder, you get the shoulder pads built in. Out, out, sorry. 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 Hit the microphone. And now I'm like very, like, I'm afraid. I'm really afraid to like put any of this stuff on hangers. Why don't we, why can't we just throw it all on the floor? Is the question. Like, I would just throw it all on the floor in a pile. That's gonna go up there. Well, I guess I could go ahead and move that. Don't shirts just go on the floor in a pile? I'm gonna hang this one up, though. Mr. Rogers hung up his sweaters. And if it's good enough for Mr. Rogers... You know... We got to ask ourselves the questions. These questions. Hey, Henry. How's it going? Yeah, Rick, we're in the baby house. There's this is a baby crib. We're finishing up that house. Oh, a blouse. Okay, we got the bras in the drawers. We got the... Oh, what's... The, okay. Your cologne. What are we all wearing? Cologne, perfume, scent. What are we all wearing? So I wear... Hold on. Let me make sure I know the name of it. And I barely... I barely rarely use it. I wear... I wear... Lion Tints by Yves Saint Laurent. It's intense, but with an L and an apostrophe before. Which I guess is French. I think I've bought, I've been using the same bottle for like eight years or something. Ooh, Libre. YSL Libre. I think Justin wears light blue or blue by. Who makes light blue? I don't remember. But I would always change my cologne with like, where, every time I moved. <gasps> Not the safe in the closet. Every time I would move, I would get a new scent. And so, like, I have all of my old cologne bottles in a bag. And so, I'll sniff them. French. French, Emily. <laughs> uh, and it, like, takes you right back. Scent is so strong. Like, sense of scent. Sense of smell. Sense of smelling. It really will just time warp you the hell back to somewhere, you know, and like not always in a good vibey way. I wish we could open the safe. Can we open the safe? No. Oh, I was hoping maybe it let me push buttons on it. I don't want to remember, so I just wear the same. That's fair. Like, I'll smell one and I'll be like, oh my god, this was my clubbing fragrance in my early 20s. My clubbing fragrance. I did not... Let's just talk about how I did not utilize... <laughs> I thought that was a single drawer! I probably even tested it, didn't I? <laughs> That's so me. <laughs> that is so me. 
That's so me. Ah, uh, relatable. Relatable because it is me. Because that's who I am. There's something I need to change. What's wrong in the dining room? Oh. <gasps> something in the third room? Oh, I haven't even touched the... <gasps> Honey, what's wrong? You've barely touched the third room? You've barely touched your third room? Potpourri? A scam? You know, I just feel like I'm most relatable to myself. You know? If you know, you know. <laughs> the French Edu Toilet. Ede Toilet. You know? Thank you so much, Emily <laughs> Dogbo, for the bits. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. You know. Just the Ede Toilet. All right, now what's the scam? They said no easel on the floor. Where do you want the easel? I guess that makes sense. Oh, wow. We really fucked up the top floor, huh? What that? They said, oh, is, this is an in-bath mat. That's a, that's a, that's a squishy squishy. I guess that can go there. I really hate that, but I guess that's where it's supposed to go. The suitcase doesn't go in the closet? All of these clothes don't get piled down here? Okay, Rich. I don't even know if I'm gonna have room to stack all of these. Am I gonna have to hang up some things? Maybe I'm supposed to hang up some things. Ah! Oh, I forgot about this drawer. This is fine. Just don't make me work too much. Yeah, that's great. Now, what did I do wrong in the bedroom? I'm always messing something up, it seems. That can go there. That can go there. The baby's room. What is this, though? Is that a poo basket? Is that why I need to put that on the poo table? Oh, they must collect the poos in a little basket and take them to the farmer's market. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh. We're so looking forward to meeting you. Hold on, we gotta do this for all the rooms. What do they have to say about their guest bathroom? We gotta take a picture of our guest bathroom for our scrapbook, honey. Bonus turd room. Honey, we finally made it. We have a room for turds just for strangers. My professional space for me, the professional. Oh, yeah, they're a children's book author. We're already planning the dinner parties. Now, let's look at this kitchen where the toaster's in a really nice place and not on top of the fridge, if Taylor's listening still. Finally, a fridge big enough for all our magnets. Isn't that the American dream, though? A bathroom for poop and a bathroom for pee. Thank you so much for the bits, baby olives. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Not, oh, I'm listening. Lots of space in the big yard. Oh, we can get a pet now. They need a little chihuahua. And a place just to enter the house. Born rich. Our new home. What do we have to say about the big bathroom? Uh, listen, this laundry room, I love. A family-sized bathroom. Does this game get sad? I'm gonna be sad if the game gets sad. 
Can things just keep getting better and not get worse? I don't want to have to think about it. Enough space for all our clothes and then some. Don't get too carried away. It's not that much space. Hiding a turd under the pillow. Looking forward to the first sleep in our new house. That was it. They want a baby and a piggy. Unpack... Did I just finish the game? <laughs> I could have finished that the last episode. There's lyrics. Am I supposed to sing? I thought there were like three more levels. Should I sing? To do with open This is now a home for two. Should I sing? Your house plan brightens up the dreary window sill. Your blanket keeps us warm in the evening. We pull your favorite one. They just keep singing, don't they? That's fine. It's a good song. <laughs> Dolly? Dolly? Thank God she's still on TikTok. To this day, I always wonder. So I'm comforted when I hear it. Not that's Ashley Tisdale. They couldn't get Vanessa Hudgens to sing this. I should just use this attachment. Not my Stanley knife. Not brand name dropping the Stanley knife. Is that a brand of knives? Nineteen ninety seven to twenty eighteen. <gasps> Did I die in twenty eighteen? Oh, there's the baby. Where's the dog? Show me the dog. Show me the dog. Oh. <gasps> what do I get now? Do what I get it? Did I unlock a secret? This is the start again. Well, I can tell you, you can now listen to tracks from the whole game, but oh, well, I love the tracks in this game. Once the stage is unpacked, you can now toggle assessment on and off, temporarily hiding item highlights and the stores button. Cool. Did I just start that? I just started the credits again. Dead by Daylight is publicly funded by the Canadian government. The Canadian government? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I can... Did y'all want me to play it again? Did y'all want me to play the theme song again? I mean, I will.
I bought the Canadian version of Dead by Daylight for Switch. <laughs> Not this. What? Well, I can add this to the list of... Is this, is this a hate raid? Thank you so much, Baby Olives. <laughs> Not the Vanessa Hutchinson lyrics. Thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to end. I'm going to end the YouTube section of this. Y'all stick around because I'm going to keep playing another game. Um, however, we're going to end this so that the VOD ends on YouTube. So I'm just going to I'm just going to say it. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks everyone for watching this, for taking this journey with me. This was a hoot and a holler. If you're on Twitch, stick around. We'll be playing more stuff. I thought this game, if I had known this game, only had this much time left. I apologize. This is so short, but we got to unpack a closet. Uh, love y'all so much. Thanks for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Well, stay tuned. Then you'll find out what we're playing because I'm not even sure. <laughs> Love y'all so much. Y'all keep this channel going. Don't be scared by the stream ending stream because I'll be right back on Twitch. But if you're on YouTube, love you. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs>